Hello, 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 and today I have a new material for you, and we are gonna make a procedural crystal material today. Um, similar to the last material, you will need this adapter subdivision that we set up l last time, just for your information. Um, how to do this, you go into the URL settings, change form supported to experimental, then you can add this subdivision, and you can just tick adapter subdivision, this basically will help us. Then you go into your material slots, and you change your displacement from bump only to displacement and bump, and then you're ready to go. Okay, let's get started. Our first thing will be to get a Wagner texture. So let's get a Wagner texture, Control T, delete the mapping, object into vector as previous. This will be our basic map, more or less. We can, of course, bring in a color ramp here to control it better, but we don't really need this, in, at least in my opinion. Now, this is not enough for us. We want more. We want some more distortion on this, so we are gonna bring. So we're just gonna select this and press Control Zero. Um, let's open this up, color into vector, and let's replace this generated with object, and then get rid of it. Now we are gonna bring in a noise texture. So let's drag a noise texture, factor into color, and object into vector. And now you can see this looks a bit too much, so we're gonna change the mix down to 0.25, and we are gonna max out the detail, of course, and the rest is the same. You can, of course, change the scale of this if you want, but I think a 5 works very well. And we can plug this immediately into a displacement node. So let's get a displacement node, bring this to here, color into height, and then displacement into displacement. Let's preview it. This is obviously way too much. We are going to bring down the scale to, I think, a 0 0.1 works well. Do what you want with this, but this is already, I feel like, a very nice surface, which you can work with. And now we are going to do the rest of it. Okay. Apologies, my Shrinkers add-on is still lagging, and it's still lagging my Blender, which you might can see that I have freeze frames whenever I use my mouse wheel in this bottom part. I don't know why, it just happens. So let's just bring this down. Um, let's go into here, let's change the color. Uh, I like my crystal, what do I like my crystal to be? Hmm. I'm going to make a red crystal. So let's make it red. Roughness to a point zero. 0.03, not 0.04, and transmission to a 1. And like you can see, we already have a very beautiful translucent material. That could already work, but I want to take it a step further. Y you know me, I like my bumps and I like my scratches, so we are going to make a scratch map for this. Um, it's a very simple setup, we've done this before. Um, take the Voronoi, duplicate it, bring it up to here, change F1 to distance to edge, Control T, the mapping, object into vector, and duplicate the noise texture that we have down here, and bring it up to here. Let's preview. That is close to how we want, but we want a bit of distortion in here. So let's do 0 0.3 here and 0 0.6 here. I think this works better. Might bring the scale down to 0 0.3. I think this works better. And yeah, I think I'm happy with this. So let's bring in a color ramp. And make this very close so the scratches are very thin. And let's, and let's make a mask wave texture as a mask. So mask wave texture goes into here, change this to 4D because we will need two of them for a bigger mask. Select all of it. Just bring it up so we have more space. Uh, control, let's duplicate this two times, so that we have the Musgrave working on both as well. And we will change this to Detail Max, obviously, on both. Dimensions are to 0 0.6, I can show of course how this looks, on both. And then we are going to take the object and plug it into the vector. Object goes into vector. And let's take these two, control zero. We want to change mix to a lighten factor of one. Uh, we need, of course, to change the W to know, five. Change it to whatever you want. Whatever looks good for you, I think five works. 
it's just it really that doesn't matter. I think five is enough value. It's enough of a big value to have a change. Click these two, control zero, change mix to lighten again, factor one. And you can see we have these small little micro scratches which we can now use with the bump note to plug the normal. So doot, doot, doot. let's preview. So of course it's too big, right? Like you see it here. That is way too much, so we are going to put this down to 0 0.2, I think. That is way better. And yeah, we now have our crystal with surface imperfections. Which is a very excellent material. You can, of course, adapt this color wherever you want to. And I did the mistake again of... Like, this looks pretty cool. I think purple looks great, in my opinion. Purple, red, and blue. All look great. Green looks a bit dodgy at times. I think you have to find the right color for it. This green can work. Um, yellow, I don't personally like. Maybe you like it, but I don't. But yeah, I think red, blue, and purple look pretty cool. And green, if you find the right color for it and right use for it. And yeah, I hope uh, this tutorial could help you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.